how you doing guys and welcome back welcome back to the show on the road today because today we're doing something different um actually a lot of people like the video of a boat show on the west side so now today we decided to go to another boat show on the east side but it's not the miami boat show this is my first time going to the west palm beach boat show so it's gonna be something cool i mean i've never been there and uh, you guys are coming along for the ride and by the way i'd like to thank everybody that that keeps watching the videos and thank you guys thank you guys for being so interested and curious about the house on the west coast we're trying to get it done we're trying to get it done but little by little i think so far we got to do is the kitchen and uh that's it that's it the kitchen yeah i'm over here in miami today um i was yesterday i was actually at the west coast for the half a day i mean it's just it's it's going crazy it's like one day i'm in the west one day i'm in the east i mean but i'm trying to because i'm trying to get the house done and yes, I'm trying to get videos done because a lot of people are like, yo, where's Throwback Thursday? Where's another video? Missing the videos. So I'm trying to, you know, trying to accommodate everything at once. And uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard because I'm trying to do too many things at once. And like usual, I'm out here uh, waiting and wasting time. Waiting for her. So wait for her to come and then we'll jump on the truck and head north. Just keep waiting. That's all you can do. Just wait. All right, guys, so like you can see, me and Orgita are wearing some really cool clothes, especially the blue shirts. And yes, they are from a designer here in Miami, locally, Fresco Channel. And you can get it at www.frescochannel.com. No, I'm just joking with you guys. But yeah, thank you guys for purchasing the clothes and having patience with me because the clothes gets made as soon as you order and yep they're coming from texas and you know what's going on over there so that's why sometimes it's taking a little bit long and talking about long we're gonna hit the turnpike north and the gps says an hour and 15 minutes so i guess it's gonna be a pretty far ride but we get to sightsee and enjoy the ride like the beautiful guitar of the hard rock that you know what i haven't been there yet but that is scheduled in for the future plans and now we're gonna cross from the turnpike to I-95 North. And we got off I-95 heading into beautiful downtown West Palm Beach. And I don't know about you guys, but I love the trees and love that's surrounded by water. And also I'm loving the architecture of the building. I've been here maybe like five, six years ago and I forgot how beautiful this place is. And I'm starting to feel like a tour guide because a lot of people are asking me to film different cities and different locations. But it's okay because I love exploring new places. So we have found parking after what? Oh, we're all rocking that blue, that blue thing. So after driving around, found parking. It's kind of hard here. And while we wait for the elevator, I'm gonna show you guys a quick peek of the beautiful downtown West Palm Beach. Check out the view of downtown West Palm Beach. Check it out, it looks pretty cool. Feels like we're in downtown Miami. That's pretty cool here. I haven't been here in a long time. We'll check it out. We'll check it out, see what a day brings us at the West Palm Beach boat show. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving these uh, pavers on the street and on the sidewalk. Makes the place look really good. And we have to walk about two blocks. And I got stuck with the metal detector because I got scanned with the camera. But it's okay. But we finally made it in. Oh, now let's go see what they have. What is this? I have never seen this type of. What is this? I think you, know, you can actually walk around the back or something. Pretty different. Never seen this type of book. Wow. 
wonder how the performer was with the engine so wide open, so wide to the side. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, like you can see, this boat is pretty unique and it gives you extra walking room. But it left me wondering, how does it perform on high speeds with the engines being so spread out? I guess I should have asked the salesman. And I guess here's another chance to take a look at smaller boats for the kids. That I'm debating is to get a bay boat or a flats boat. Me personally, I like the bay boat because when it's a calm day, you can go offshore. But the kids want a flats boat because they want to go faster. Talk about fast or slow. Check out this thing here. Yeah, nice setup. Huge. Oh, look at that. They're gonna buy it. Look, look, they're gonna buy it. They're gonna buy it. Uh -huh. It's huge. Alright guys, so remember, we're here at the West Palm Beach Boat Show to see what brands and type of boat they carry. So we're not really going to get any details or specifics or specs on any boat. But if we find something that catches our eye, we're going to jump on it and look around. Let me see this. Wow, this is nice. Wow, I like it. So we're just here at the boat show. How you say, kicking the tires. And looking at the beautiful boats. Cause uh, it's the weekend, we got nothing else to do, so might as well do something, right? And no better place to go than to daydream at the boat show. And this is our first time here at the West Palm Beach boat show. Interesting. So I guess we're gonna nosy around, see what we can find. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But you know what? Pretty nice. I love this. I love this setup. Jesus. Wow, it's a giant. Mm -hmm. Like relaxing. It it I guess not open. Yeah, whoever came up with this idea. Mm -hmm. Twist it, twist it. Wow, that's cool. Wow. Oh, I love the smell of new fiberglass. I see. Oh my god! I love the smell of fiberglass. Wait, this is pretty cool. Yeah, you fit in there. Oh my god! I fit you anywhere. Fit. Yeah, that's nice. Is that a separate shower? What is that? No, it's just yeah. I'm like a separate shower. It's cool. It's like a little closet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, you can you can take a shower. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's got a windshield wiper. Pretty nice setup. You enjoy, right? Well, I think Kobe has all the models here because they have the little ones all the way to the big ones. Now, I found something here that's really surprising. I found power wow. play. I mean, let me zoom this up. Look at that. What a change. What power play used to be. What happened? Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Well guys, if you're like me, an old school boater, you know you guys are used to the fast, sleek power plays and the really cool paint scheme and triple setup. But now seeing this, to me, is very disappointing. And I tried to get a hold of one of the sales guy to ask him a few questions, but they only had one guy and I guess he was busy attending to other people. All I know that the company was sold and bought by a new company, but I guess they kept the name. Okay, and we're gonna keep 
Looking around. Look what we found. Well, look what we found. Look what we found. Over here. Well, guys, the more I look at the sea fox, the more I'm beginning to like it. So let's take a quick peek one more time. What? So what do you guys think about the Sea Fox 22? I think it's pretty cool. Talk about cool. I met these two guys right here at the boat show from the Boat Kings and they recommended me to look at the 24. And I noticed just two feet makes a big difference on smaller boats. And I'm really liking the head because it has an actual toilet, not a porta potty. And you have to excuse the dirty mess because they're parked right under a black olive tree. And if you have one of those, you know how messy it can get. Are you guys taking it home? All right, so here's a dilemma. I don't know if to get a smaller boat for the kids or a bigger boat for all of us. But something that keeps catching my eye every time I see them because I miss them are the jet skis. Now here is something that also caught my eye. This beautiful close deck velocity boat with twin 400 mercuries that I'm loving the paint scheme and the pure white joko. And guys, if you love boating as much as I do, it doesn't matter if you have a closed deck, a center console, or a yacht. You can come join us at this summer's hottest event, the Miami Boat Rally. You can register and find more information at www.miamiboatrally.com. And you can use promo code FRESCO10 to get a discount. Look at this, it also had a hydraulic jack plate. I wonder how fast this bad boy is. And we're gonna jump to a little bad boy. Check this out. A 60 horsepower racing motor. Never seen this before. And now we're gonna jump back to another big one. And if you guys enjoyed the video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And according to the guy, this boat does over 65 miles an hour. Now the question is, I don't know if you want to really sit in the front of the boat at 60 miles an hour. And talking about bad boys and speed, we're going to see the baddest of them all. The new Mercury 600 V12. This motor is massive and it weighs a thousand two hundred pounds. Wow! I mean, you're gonna have to really, really reinforce the transom of the boats that are gonna handle this big monster because you have to deal with the weight and the 600 horsepower of thrust hanging on the back of the boat. I mean, I don't really know if you could tell on the video how massive this motor is, but I told Fresquito stand next to it. So I could take a picture so you guys could see how big it is. Talking about pictures, Ogita found something really cool. Wow, look at this mailbox. Super cool. That's how also, a lot of people liked it when I posted on Instagram. So if you want to follow on a daily, make sure you guys follow Fresco Channel on Instagram. Now that like you can see this mailbox is beautiful mm -hmm. until he told me the price. It was three thousand dollars but i guess you have to consider it it's like it's a work of art so now we're gonna keep strolling around the west palm beach boat show and before i forget i would like to say hello 
to those people that came up to us and said hi at the boat show because it's always a pleasure meeting the people that watch the channel and it's great when they tell me which video they like the best but the funny thing a lot of people don't like being on camera so if I meet you and you're not afraid let me know I'll put you up no problem and so far we've only seen a small part of the show now we're gonna head over to the wet docks and where the big boys are sitting So make sure you tune in to part 2 of the West Palm Beach Boat Show and we get to go inside two of my dream boats. 